Charles Babbage was born in London on the 26th of December, 1791. He was an English mathematician and known as the first computer pioneer. He was one of four children and from a wealthy family. His father Benjamin was a founding banking partner of Preeds & Co of Fleet Street. At the age of eight, he had a life-threatening fever and was sent to school in Exeter, but his poor health continued and so was brought back home to be taught by private tutors. By the age of 16, he joined the Holmwood Academy in Baker Street. The academy had a library that prompted Babbage's love of mathematics, but he was soon to be disappointed in the standard mathematical instruction available there. By the early 19th century, the European Industrial Revolution was well underway. The development of production and commerce came from the maturing fields of engineering, navigation, surveying, finance and science. The practical applications of these fields relied on volumes of tables, tables for trigonometry, tides, interest rates, multiplication and gravity. In October 1810, Babbage had been accepted to Trinity College, Cambridge. It was there that he met John Frederick William Herschel, the son of the famous astronomer William Herschel, who had first discovered the planet Uranus in 1781. Together they would proofread the same books of mathematical tables, but from different publishers, checking the accuracy of them for the Astronomical Society in the 1820s. But they kept finding errors. Nautical computations of the tides, if calculated incorrectly by humans, could result in ships running aground. It was from this that Babbage's idea of a machine that could calculate the tables correctly and print the results was born. It would be called Difference Engine Number 1. By 1822, Babbage had built a demo with his own funds, which he called the Beautiful Fragment. It would carry out polynomial calculations by mechanization and would be error-free. Babbage demonstrated the machine to guests at one of his many social gatherings that he hosted. One of them was Ada Lovelace, the daughter of the poet Lord Byron. Later she had said, last week we saw the thinking machine. Babbage petitioned government for a grant to complete the build, and by 1823 he was awarded £1,500 to help fund the development, and work began. Babbage hired a mechanical engineer, but soon ran into problems. This was because the machining tools of the time could not produce the components with enough accuracy that the engine would require. He soon abandoned the idea and started work on the analytical engine, a general purpose calculating automaton. It would have a section called the mill, that today we would call the CPU, and also the store, that we would relate to as the computer's memory. The purpose of the machine was to eliminate the risk of human error in the calculation and production of printed mathematical results. Ada Lovelace wanted to help Babbage promote his machine and at his request translated Article 29, Sketch of the Analytical Engine. It was written by Luigi Federico Menabrea of Turin, an Italian military engineer who had attended Babbage's seminars and made notes at all of his lectures. It would be known as the first publication on computer programming in the world. The creative mind of Ada Lovelace understood the computational possibilities and the use of punch cards, like the ones used on the Jacquard loom. She made a series of additional notes explaining an algorithm that would allow the device to use Bernoulli numbers. It is Ada Byron who would be known as the first computer programmer. However, Babbage did not protest when the government denied his grant for further funding. In 1847, Babbage returned to his old obligation and worked for two years on a full set of drawings and meticulous annotations for Difference Engine No. 2. It required 8,000 parts of bronze, cast iron and steel and would be 11 feet long, 8 feet high and weigh 5 tonnes. Its function was to calculate and tabulate the data of 7th order polynomials, a class of mathematical expressions, to 31 decimal places. Not only would it calculate with unerring accuracy, but it would print an inked hard copy and produce stereotype plates by impressing the results in plaster. 
By 1852, at just 36 years old, Ada Lovelace was taken ill and died soon after. In 1871, Babbage passed away, never realising his dream. The drawings came to rest in the library of the Science Museum in London. Over 130 years later, in 1985, the drawings and annotations for Difference Engine No. 2 would be found by the museum's new curator, Doran Swade, who was convinced the machine could be built. It took 17 years, and it works.